So three, let's blow some fuses. I was wondering what's the actual current these cheap Chinese eBay fuses go open circuit. And this is no proper laboratory test, it's just an experiment. Let's see the real current necessary to blow them. And these are fast F 0.1 amp or 100 milliamps, 250 volts, standard glass fuses with a thin wire in it visible. So let's try the first one. Let's start increasing the current. 55, 60 milliamps, 70, 80, 90. And remember this is a 100 milliamp fuse. And now it's already past its nominal current. And still nothing. 150. Still nothing. Even more current. 200 milliamps. This is double its rated current. Still nothing happening. 250 milliamps. Still nothing happening. Is it glowing? I don't see anything. 250. Let's go for 300 slowly. Still not blowing. 100 milliamp fuse. Imagine that. Not even glowing. I don't see any glow in it yet. Let's go even further. Now it's over range, I have to switch ranges. Now it blew it 400 milliamps. Now let's try another, a better close up, less light to see a potential glow. And the multimeter is already prepared at the higher range. And increasing the current. 100 milliamps, 150, 200 milliamps, 250 milliamps, still no glow, still not blowing, 300 milliamps again, still nothing happening, going slowly further, 320, 340, 350 milliamps, and it's starting to glow but still not going open a circuit at 350 milliamps. And remember, this is a fast 100 milliamp fuse. Still 350 milliamps. Going to 360, 370 milliamps. Going brighter and still not going open circuit. Still 370 milliamps. And 380 and it went open a circuit. And this is 3.8 times the nominal current. One more just to check the consistency. 500 milliamps. Now it blows. 400 milliamps. 410 milliamps. And it blows. Can I get an even better close up of this? 100 milliamps. 200 milliamps, 300 milliamps, 400 milliamps, 410 milliamps. Now let's try this one F100 milliamps, basically the same, but from a more trusted source. 220, 250, and it blows. And now a slow fuse, T100 milliamps. Let's try to do it with the multimeter in the view. 100 milliamps, 120, 150, 200 milliamps. Still nothing happening. 220 and it blows. So that's it and this video is mostly an experiment, it's not trying to draw any conclusions. But it seems that the eBay fuses have a bit higher threshold than the good ones. But even the good ones require about double the current to blow. But it's probably impossible to make something as primitive as a piece of wire always melt at the exact current. There are many many different standards and requirements for fuses. Different types are built to handle different amount of overcurrent during inrush without blowing. Some of them are meant to act faster, some slower, but they are never super accurate. 
and I think they must not go open circuit at their nominal current, even after years of operation and thousands of on-off cycles. And then of course for something as crude as a piece of wire, it's impossible to magically quickly blow at just 101% of its nominal current. If it doesn't melt at 100 milliamps in many years, it makes sense to require about 200 or 250 milliamps to melt in a couple seconds or less than a minute. So that's it and please consider supporting my channel on Patreon or using the thanks button. And maybe in the next video building the spectrometer finally. Or maybe another sleep lamp.